to stay hydrated, bro. For real. <laughs> so, 2023 is around the corner. New year, new me, right? You want to get in shape, right? You want to get all buff and tough and stuff, right, man? You know what I'm saying? Trying to look good in the damn hood, bro. Out of shape as hell. You tired of it. Look, you tired of being built like a damn pear, bro. Pears now and shit like... You tired of being 300 plus pounds, are you? You tired of being underweight, are you? Are you tired of being insecure about your body, bro? And this time, you really mean it? You want to get in shape, bro? All right, bro, I'm going to give you the blueprint. But before I even give you the blueprint, you got to understand these most important things. For one... Before you even start anything, though, it starts within your head, your mindset. Everybody always want to start these New Year resolutions, uh, want to get in shape, you know what I'm saying, want to start exercising, things like that. When it come to realize, you know, oh, shit, you know, I got to go to the gym. I got to work out. You motivated for the first two weeks, probably. Then next thing you know, you start losing motivation. You start going right back to old habits. Now you're living the same life you've been living these last few years. You motivated one minute, you lose motivated the next. You're, you're motivated one. You motivated. Damn. My hat was fried, bro. You was motivated one minute. Next thing you know, you're going right back to your hot pockets. I dropped my hot pockets. Oh, I'm going back to the gym maybe next week or something. Nah, nah. The mindset is everything. Because why are you want to start an exercise program? Why you want to start working out? Why you want to get in shape? Is it to look good for people or is it for yourself? The reason why you want to start exercising in the first place is to be healthy and actually feel good about your body. We live in a day and age where we're so confused about who we are. And then actually, you know, we praising degeneracy, generous, generous, generous failure, my nigga. The fuck you mean it's cool to be 400 plus pounds? Hell no. Hell no. Coming from a boy like me, bruh, that been 300 plus pounds before. Hell no. Hell no. It was too heavy to walk around, bruh. When I was looking in the damn mirror, I got tired of looking at my man tits, bro. It's not okay, bruh. I got tired of it. So what did I do? I worked on it. I switched my mindset. You know, I want to be built like a damn Spartan, bro. I want to be built like a warrior, bro. Built like Tookie Williams, bro. Like I said, I installed that mindset of wanting to train to get good, to get stronger. So before you even approach anything, you got that head in your head like, why do you want to work out in the first place? Once you got that mindset, now you want to start setting these goals for yourself, right? Do you want to lose weight? That's your ultimate goal. What pound do you want to be at, right? Let's say you 285 pounds and you want to get down to 180. That's your ultimate goal. That's your number one goal. You want to get down there. You want to lose weight. You got to keep setting many goals that's going to reach to your ultimate goal. That's where you want to start doing workouts that's going to aim towards your ultimate goal of 185 pounds. You feel me? That right there in itself is going to keep you on track. You ain't going to be scatterbrained. You got to make sure you have these goals and be serious and it has to be realistic. If it ain't realistic, bro, you wasting your damn time, cuz. You're going to be lost in the sauce like Ray Ross, bro. Pairs now. That's what it's all about, bro. You got to have a plan. All right, like I said, I know this is your third New Year's resolution you set for yourself, bro. But this time I'm going to help you, bro. Coming from someone from 2018. I was that New Year new me, bro. This time we're going to get right. I'm going to get you mentally right, bro. I'm going to get you motivated. Because this time you're going to succeed this year. Fuck 2022, bro. I know you've been through some hardships. Heartbreaks. You know what I'm saying? You depressed as hell. You know what I'm saying? You're on medication and everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? You lost. You mad. There's a reason why you motivated, bro. Mindset, cuz. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, bro, what you gonna do to get to your ultimate goal? 
You gotta keep doing stuff to get to your goal. 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 This is before you're gonna go out there and get it. You gotta, you gotta plan this out side way. You're gonna stick with it this time. You're not gonna quit. You gotta have a plan. You gotta set goals for yourself. And you gotta have that mindset. This time I got this shit. Because your worst enemy is your damn self. You ain't that person. You ain't that person. You ain't the trolls on the internet. It's you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's that self-doubt. I don't think I got this or this and that. You know what I'm saying? The, the negative thoughts that tell you you can't do this and can't do that. Listen. You don't know how far you can take yourself unless you damn try you got to try and fail, try and fail. It's all life lessons, bro. Once you start getting there, get that mindset right, that's when the motivation start organically coming in. Like you're going to be energized to go to the gym. Because the thing is, for a lot of people, people hate working out. You know what I'm saying? Just, it, they, the motive, it's so hard to be motivated to work out. But why are you going to the gym? You know what I'm saying? You gotta be hungry for this shit. You gotta be fueled for this shit. Cause this shit ain't easy, bro. No matter if you take steroids, pills, creatine. If you ain't stepping foot in that motherfucker and giving it your all, you just wasting your time, cuz. That's what I'm saying. This shit we're gonna get right at night, bro. I'm gonna give you the blueprint. I'm gonna get you right, bro. Just listen. You gotta understand basic anatomy. Once you start to understand what your bicep, tricep, all your arms, your forearms, quads, hamstrings, your leg muscles, chest, all your basic muscles, the basic actions and good exercises for them. The thing is understanding where your body parts is at. And when you come in towards your working out and what goals you want, oh, I want bigger arms and things, you understand what type of movements or what Basically, what I'm saying is you gonna have a better understanding of your body and its motions. You know what I'm saying? Once you understand that, you're going to be ahead of the game. You're really going to be hungry now. This time around, when you step foot in the gym, for the absolute best results, master the basic movements. More in particular, the big five compounds. Bench, squat, deadlift, overhead press, Rose, I'm telling you, those are the foundation. Those are the foundation. Like it's scientifically proven, and in, from personal experience, biggest bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? That will give you the base right there. Once you start mastering the basic movements, start adding isolations. It's like the icing on top. You feel me? It's like you start etching out this the statue, you feel me? Like a Greek like a Greek sculpture, you feel me? You feel me, bro? The thing is, is like, all right, you got weak points, right? You start to understand, oh, I need to bring up my arms. You start adding more curls to your routine. Let's say you're doing compound straight to isolations. Bro, you start doing this style of training for months, you're going to get right. Another important thing to come in mind is how long should you work out? Well, I'm telling you, it ain't even got to be that long. 30 minutes, minimum. Even that. I would suggest if you really want the best results, like if you're really so serious on getting in shape, if you're underweight, you overweight, and you fucking tired, I'm talking about mentally tired and you looking in this mirror tired. This is for these type of people that is really real about it. You have to spend at least an hour or more on working out. In my opinion, I'm not going. I'm not going to hold you, bro. Like, you got to be for real. Even in an hour, it's like you know you still got more to do. But an hour minimum, you get a good workout in. Two to three days a week. We got that in mind, I'm telling you. That right there in itself. Coming from someone that probably never touched a gym in their life to all of a sudden they started going to the gym and 
start exercising, you creating this environment your body ain't used to. You know what I'm saying? It goes from couch potato, eating Doritos, and eating Pizza Hut, you feel me? To now all of a sudden, you start eating your fruits and vegetables. You start drinking your water. You start working out. Now your body has to adapt to this, this routine now. It's gonna start showing your physique. So you start mastering your basic movements. You start controlling how much you eat. Hey, girl. I'm telling you. So when it comes down to your training, it also gotta go down to the diet too. Diet, exercise, bro. Goes hand in hand, man. That's the, that's another hard truth, man. So if you can sit there and understand your daily calorie intake, right? Saying like you start tracking your calorie intake for a week, right? If you're someone that wants to lose weight, track how many calories you eat per day, a week, right? Get your average, you want to subtract two to 500 calories from your average. So that way you eat less energy. And here you working out, you burn in way more energy than what you're consuming. You do that for periods of time over and over and over. That's the secret. You got to keep doing that shit right? like over and over and over. And when you keep doing this shit, you got to go harder. As time progresses, you got to keep shocking the muscles. Man. You got to keep shocking the system. You got to keep on going farther and farther and farther and farther. So that right there in itself, that's what's going to get you set for 2023, bro. If that's what this year you really want to get right. Boom, boom, that, that's the blueprint. So here's a good example of a workout program that follows this principle. You can follow it, you can modify it, you know what I'm saying? You can to your own routine, right? You can pause, write down, screenshot, do what you need to do. These right here is gonna get you set, right? A basic workout program that targets everything you need. The key is, I can give you this workout program. I can tell you the secret sauce, the secret game. But are you gonna do it? And are you gonna invest time into doing it? Cause you're gonna keep telling me you ain't got time. Shit. That's the worst excuse, bro. This comes from someone that used to work 12 hour shifts. And right after I was done doing my 12s, 6.30 to motherfucking 6.30 and go straight to the gym and bust it. Sometimes off of three hours of sleep. Why? Because I gotta do it. Nigga, I'm hungry, bruh. I always tell myself I would never be this much. Never. It's a mindset. I told you it's a mindset, bro. Your own worst enemy is yourself and self-doubt. But keep my advice, 2023 will be your year. Let's get hungry. I know you're hungry, bro, for success. Let's get this shit, bro. Boom, boom, boom.